Hi guys and gals, this is Mr. Lewick, and today I'm going to show you some things on Google Earth. All right, so when you click on the link on our Google Classroom to go to Google Earth, your page is going to look like this. So the first thing you need to do is click the blue Launch Earth button. Click it, and then you just have to wait for it to load up. It can take a few seconds, so be patient. All right, once it's loaded up, it's going to look like this. You are floating in outer space, space, space. Ah, but let's see how we use Google Earth. Um, and I know some of you have probably used it before, which is awesome. Hopefully, I'll show you a few new things. And if you haven't, um, you're going to learn a few new things, and hopefully you really enjoy it. So first, let's get down on the planet Earth, because right now we're floating out in outer space. So there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, you can use these tools down here in the bottom right. Um, to uh, zoom in, if I click plus, you can see I start zooming in, but a faster way, if you use your touchpad and you use your thumb and pointer as pinchers, when you pinch in, it takes you farther away, I don't wanna do that. So I'll put my pointer finger and thumb close together in the middle of the touchpad and pinch out. And look at that, I'm zooming in. That's a fast way of doing it. And I can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I get closer, 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 okay? All right, but let's go somewhere. Um, to, to go somewhere, if we're floating around here, we you can click and hold and drag to go to different places. All right, but I really don't know where I am right now. So let's go to a specific place. Let's search. Over here on the left is a search tool, a magnifying glass. When you click on that, it opens up a text box where you type in what you want to search. So let's go to our school. All right, so I'm going to type in Starpoint, and it'll start autofilling because you can look to see if there's any places. Um, not the district. I want to go to a specific school. So I'm going to type in Regan, which is ours. Oops, need some spaces. Oh, there it is. Look, I didn't even have to finish typing it autofill. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to automatically fly me from wherever I was to our school. Let it focus. Don't click while it's doing that. Wait for it to get there. So there I am. I'm floating above Regan Intermediate. How's everybody doing in there? All right. And now I want to uh, look at it a little bit closer. All right. So if I click right now, I double tapped actually. It stopped spinning like that, but maybe I want to get around to the front of the school, like where the road is here. So this tool here says fly here. When I click on that, it's going to take me back out and it's going to keep rotating. I'm going to double click right there. I'm going to stop there. So I can zoom in from here. I'm pinching out on my touchpad and I can click and hold and drag around. But maybe I want to get down right on the ground, not floating up. So this button here is called the street view. Sometimes I call it drop-in. It's a person. If I click, hold, and drag, anywhere where there's a blue line, I can drop in. I can't drop in over here because there's no nothing blue. So let me just drop in right here. It's going to put me right on the street. There, how cool is that? Now I can click, hold, and drag. And you probably want to use two fingers to do that. Click and hold with one finger on your mouse pad. Use your other finger to drag around. I can zoom in from here. I can zoom out. I can also drive around a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> Let me go back on Street View there. Ah, there we go. So I'm on the street right now. And if I look for these arrows, that allows me to uh, start driving around. Or if I need to go down the road a little bit. You know, there's the road. So maybe I want to look at this house here. I can click the arrow to, till I get there. All right, so that is how you go different places on Google Earth. So let's go somewhere else. Here's the search. And I'm gonna type in Disney Epcot, oh, Epcot Resort. I think that's it. I wanna go to Disney Epcot. So it's gonna take me, fly me from our school here in New York State, I'm going to go south to Florida. It's going to zoom me right in. There's my location icon. 
All right, so I'm somewhere in Disney. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Give me a bigger picture of where I am. Whoops, I zoomed in. Let me zoom back. All right, so it labels where different things are. Ooh, Star Wars Galaxy. Let's go there. Now, I'm going to click and hold my map to drag it. So that's more in the center, because now when I zoom in, it's going to go where I want to go. So I'm going to pinch in there. Oh, I'm going to click and hold and drag it to the center. All right. So now I want to drop in and see what this place looks like on the ground. So here's my street view. Click, drag. And anywhere that is blue, I can drop in. Now I could drop in. Look, right in the middle of the park. How cool is that? I could go on the road, but I want to get into the park. Also, the location buttons here, they're blue. Usually they're red. If they're blue, that means I can drop in in right there so i'm gonna go to star wars galaxy edge and drop in right there and let's see what this looks like see if i go inside a building or just outside of it oh how cool is that you click and drag and look around a little bit now to get out of street view just click on the street view person again look at it says exit street view so there I go. Now I am out. All right, so that's the basics of it. Um, I want you to use today to practice going different places, navigating around definitely with your touchpad, clicking and dragging and pinching in and pinching out. Um, next week, we are going to complete a project where you're going to use Google Earth to find information to complete that project. So use this week to get really good at navigating, find different places. Um, you can go to the same places I went to, our school, Disney. You can go to your house if you know your address and just try different things out. All right, guys, that's it. Have fun with it and um, get to it.